Hi guys, this is Audra at Rankin Dragon Channel, and I just wanted to show you something a little cutesy today before, uh, it is Valentine's Day whenever I'm recording this. This little project is something that you could give, um, all year long. It's, what I'm making today is a puppy bouquet, and the puppy bouquet, you can use, um, fresh flowers, but today I am using the, um, silk flowers because I'm making it for my daughter and she wanted something special for Valentine's Day and I thought it would be better to give her something that would last you know a long time and but anyway this is a very 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 cute project and I'll show you what you need for it basically you need um, a bunch of silk flowers I think I have at least nine big ones and I have six um, one, two, three, four, four, yeah, six little ones, and you will need a basket or something to put your puppy in. You will need a styrofoam ball or some floral foam to stick your flowers down into. And to make it look as cute as possible, you're going to need to have some little craft dog eyes that you can buy at Joann's or Michael's, and a little craft dog nose. And couple bows for decoration and then some filler to fill in your basket to cover the holes after you've made your little puppy bouquet. You will need some strong nippers or pull your um, cut your stems on your on your silk flowers because with that strong wire in there you're going to need something tough to get in there and clip that so you can get your um, flowers apart. And then also you need a glue gun, which I have sitting off to the side because if it's anything that can burn you, I've been burnt by it. So <laughs> I try to stay away from anything that's uh, dangerous and involves heat because I, you name it, I have had third degree burns from my curling iron, the stove, the, uh, everything that's possible. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave that over to the side. So here is your styrofoam ball. You want to take your styrofoam ball and you want to take two of the white, um, just the regular white flowers and I've taken the two other colors and those are going to be my ears. So I'm gonna, let's put this here. We're going to stick that there. We're going to take another one and we're going to make it so they're flat. We're going to take one in the back Kind of angle it up, push that way down in there. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but anyway, I've got three there, and that one's kind of up, and these are going to be your head and your ears. So I'm sticking this way down in here. And see, you can already see, let me see if I can pull it back a little bit. You can already see your puppy taking shape. Then you want to come up here, and this is going to be your nose. We're going to stick a nose in here. And you want your nose to stick out a little bit. So he's got a little puffy little nose there. And then to this side, you want to take and put just the bottom, actually I'm going to cut these guys off too, because they're going to be going just at the bottom, just to fill in like the bottom of his face. There. And I'm going to put one more on the other side. I hope you can all see what I'm doing. This one here is going to go right underneath there. Pull his little nose up a little. Take the little ones and poke these in here for feet. And there's going to be his feet there. And this one here, I'm going to put right here. And this one, I'm going to put right here. Actually, I'm gonna move these 
around, I think, because I want the long ones kind of trailing out my basket. Now, when you see this basket here, how the puppy sits in the basket, you're probably going to, he looks the cutest when it's turned this way, so you're probably going to want to take, I've got some paper towels, and I'm just going to kind of stick those in the back to prop up my puppy to where it's actually sitting in the basket the way that I want it. Okay, so now you can see your little puppy and we're going to put the creative touches on it. So now we're going to add the eyes and the nose which really really makes it cute. So I'm going to try to do this without any major damage here. We'll put one eye right in there. And we'll put another eye on the other side. Let's try to get try to get the little eyes right. And you might need to, you know, work on how you're gonna prop them in your basket. And then the nose. And can you see your little puppy yet? <laughs> He's so cute. And then you can pull that up a little bit to make his little head if you want to. Just You'll have to just adjust your flowers to where you can get them in there the cutest. But there is your puppy. And then you just take your whatever stuff you have to fill in, whether it be sphagnum moss or this little, um, some kind of aspen wood grass just fill in around your puppy and then just complete your dog. <laughs> I think it's really cute. I love dogs. You can also take and put a little, um, I forgot this, if you want to take little bows on the ears, put just some bows on the ears. So whatever decorative touches you want to put on your dog. Ow. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, I did get into the glue, and I knew I would. Okay. But no trip to ER this time. Alright. So there is your sweet little puppy. Okay, guys. This is the finished result after you get done with all of your filling. Let me pull back. It's adorable. And I'll show you what we used. We used, you'll want to get one, two, three, four, five, six, six of your light color, and you want to get two of your other color for your ears, of the big ones. And you want to get two for each side, so you need four little ones. And then you put the eyes and the nose and your little bows on or whatever your decor decorations you want to do with it. And then if you look at it from all sides, once you get it all filled in, it looks great. You can fill it in back here. Fill it in on your sides. And there you have it. Cute little puppy. The cutest thing next to the real thing. I'm going to go snuggle with Chance, my real puppy, and I'm going to have a great Valentine's Day, and I hope you guys do too. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Thanks for tuning in.